Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a green double facade in Revit. Now this is a, actually a very cool way to cool down your building during summer and to warm it up during winter so this is a very ecological method of building because during the summer when the plants are growing and you see have all these leaves they're stopping the sunlight from entering the building and heating it up and during the winter when the leaves fall off the actual sun can get through the building and warm it up during winter and the cold months so this is a very efficient way to control the heating and cooling of your building and it also looks amazing so I'm going to be modeling this in Revit and the family that I'm using is in the description so you can download it and do the same thing. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay so let's get started, here I am in Revit and I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project. And here I am, and let me just set the units first, so I'm just going to set them to meters with two decimal places for this project. Okay, and this will be a double facade, and I'm going to be showing you how this works. So I'm just going to create a simple wall, just some generic, I don't know, maybe this exterior brick on, brick on block. And let's just place it like so, and I'm going to turn on the these layers to fine. Okay, so we have this wall and let's just flip it to the other side and here we're going to have some windows or whatever and this is the actual facade of the building. But now we want to do our green facade to protect our building from the sunlight and make everything look more beautiful so I'm going to create another wall. So I'm just going to type in WA for wall and I'm going to search for a storefront curtain wall and I'm just going to place it like so and just flip it on the other side and place it there. And now we can set the distance, so maybe let's set it at 0.6 meters. Yeah, this looks good. And now if we go into 3D, this is what this facade looks like. And we can go here to find. Okay, so we have our double facade. And what we're going to do with this front facade is we're going to select it and go into edit type because we don't really want the glass on this double on this storefront wall. This will just serve as a construction on which we're going to be hanging our green facade or our plants actually. So here I'm just going to search for curtain panel and just go here open up this drop menu and find empty system panel select that go apply OK and now if I turn on realistic you can see this is just an empty system. We have our wall in the background and in front we have just kind of a construction system. Now I'm going to be loading in our family so I'm just going to move this out of the way and here we have our living plant wall family and just load it in the project. Wait for a second let's maximize the screen and now as you can see here we can only place this on a wall and because we can't place it on the actual curtain wall and that's the problem so we need to create another wall on which we're going to be placing this panel and if this doesn't make sense don't worry it will make sense in a second so I'm just going to escape out of this family and I need to create some surface on which uh, which is going to host this and this curtain wall just doesn't work so I'm going to go back in level 1 I'm going to start up a new wall command and I'm going to search for some generic wall let's use generic 200 go into the edit type and create a new wall so go here to duplicate and let's call this new let's just call it new wall perhaps and go here into edit type now we want to make this as thin as possible so I'm going to make it 0 0.01 meters or 1 centimeters thick and for the material I'm just going to choose air and the reason why I'm doing this I don't want this wall to appear in renderings or anything I just want it to be used to host our our actual green wall family because it's uh, it's wall based so I'm just going to extend it like so and now if we go into 3D you can see we have this wall over here we can select it and we have this basically an empty surface but we can host our family on it so I'm just going to go here place a component and just place one over here and it might take a long time because it's a complex family with lots of planting so it might take a while to be placed so just wait a second 
and now if we zoom in you can see it's very it's a very complex family so I'm just going to switch this to hidden line to make everything more simple and as you can see this is this has a lot of plants and I don't really like this family it has too many plants so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting it and editing this family so I'm going to go here into edit type and here we see the family and now I'm going to delete every other plant because I think this is way too many plants so maybe delete all of these on top perhaps delete these here maybe even this one so you kind of try to make everything look more even and nicer and not this overcrowded so perhaps like this delete all these families so these are basically some hosted plants that we don't really need so you just go around deleting this okay and now we're done we have significantly less families and this will this project will be lagging a lot less so I think this will work a lot better so just go load into project overwrite existing version with its parameters and here we have our family and now we can select it and kinda notch it in place so it kinda covers one of these basically one of these curtain panel curtain panels and now you can kinda copy it around go into south elevation perhaps turn on wireframe just to see everything and now you can basically copy this around select multiple so perhaps place them like this and then you can use the arrow keys to notch them in place then select all of them perhaps copy them to another level like this and perhaps here sometimes you can't move them down because they can't go really off this line so perhaps like this yeah this works so just go into modify and you select all of them and then you use the arrow keys to notch them in place and now if I go into 3D this is what we have and if you want to see how that looks like rendered we can go into level 1 over here and let's create a camera view for this so just create a camera view like so maybe angle it up a bit kind of like that select it stretch it out a bit and let's see how this looks like in a rendering and this is something you're left with so I kind of added some windows here in between testing out renders I think it looks better when you have an actual facade with windows but you get the point you can see these plants are kind of covering the windows and stopping the sunlight during those hot summer days from entering the building okay so that's pretty much it for this project I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you learned something thank you for watching the link to the family is below in the description of this video please like and subscribe and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day